everybody, Farmer Min here. Welcome to Sussex Farm for this mod review of this new Fent 1050 Vario tractor out today, Wednesday, the 2nd of May. This is it. This is a beast. This is a pretty cool mod, I have to say. I'm kind of impressed with this tractor. Uh, let's just go through the details here before we take a look at it. This is by Ron Modding slash model by TechMod. Now, if you are a slot count counter and uh, <laughs> kind of limited uh, on your slot counts, this is a doozy. This is going to take up 39 slots. Yes, that's 3, 9, 39 slots. Here's what it says about the uh, Fent 100 Vario series. This has a base price of $289,300. Uh, maintenance cost is $380 a day. Uh, this is a complete new construction conversion and has gotten through a lot of different um, changes. Uh, there's a new light package for outdoors, LS indicator. Um, five colors are installed in this tractor. Three colors are installed in the rims. You have five tire confirmation standard wide wide plus wheel weights, vario front weight, uh, twin rear wheels, and grip tires. Design choice on the grill of either gray or silver, and the Yogi 299 logo buyable matching the Blunk rims, which I will say, uh, rear window is animated as well as the hood. Yes, that's what the description is on this mod. Now, the f this is still a little bit about the Fent, um, the Fent 1050. Fent is a part of um, AECO. AECO is a corporation that is made up of several manufacturers based in um, Duluth, Georgia, um, formerly known as Aulis Chalmers or Deutz Aulis, um, became AECO. AECO. AECO includes Challenger, Fent, GSI, Massey Ferguson, and Voltra. So those are all the brands that are listed under the AGCO name. As far as the Fent 1050 is concerned, um, according to the uh, tractor data, uh, this is produced starting in 2015 to present. It's a roll crop tractor. Um, the 1050 has a standard six cycle diesel engine, a 12.4 valve, uh, 211 gallon fuel tank. Um, what else can I tell you about it? <laughs> standard horsepower is 500 horsepower. Um, it's a 4x4 multi forward wheel drive tractor, uh, power steering, wet disc brakes. Um, the cab standard with air conditioning and mechanical suspension. Yeah, available in a pneumatic suspension system. Um, quite cool. There's just some detail about this um, this tractor. Now, concerning the in-game version of it, there are a lot of cool features to this, um, which we're going to go through here in just a little bit. Well, let's take a look at the store, first of all, and see what you get. Once you download this mod, of course, it's going to be in tractors. And excuse me, I got to go all the way over here to the Fent 1050 Vario. Here you can see it. 289,300. Um, a road speed of 37 miles per hour, a 600 liter fuel tank. The starting off um, horsepower is 476 horsepower. Now you see I have seven, six of them on the lot here. So if I were to buy a seventh one, it's still two slots, but I say when you buy the first one, it is a whopping 39 slots. When you go in here, you have some options. Starting off with the engine setup. The 1038 Vario is 396 horsepower. I think I just misspoke there. Um, yeah, the starting horsepower is 396. You go to the 1046 at tax on a big chunk of change for 476 horsepower. And then you get to the 1050 for 517 horsepower. So those are your three engine options. You do have options on color. You have the new Fent color, the old Fent color. You got black, red, kind of a, I don't know what you call that, turquoise blue, and a white. 
So those are your colors for the tractor. Your wheel setup. You have the standard. You have wheel weights. You have wide tires. You have the Trellborg Vario grip. And you have the rear twin wheels. Back to standard. Rim color, you have some choices. Red, silver, kind of a tan, or a white. You have two choices on your grill. This is the front grill. You have grid gray or grid silver. In your design, you have either default or this Blunk Yogi 299 option, which I'll explain here in a second. Okay, so those are your options. Now, take a look. Here's kind of the, this is the standard. Okay, everything in here is standard. Um, standard kind of the fent color with the red rims. Here you have, I should have parked these a little bit farther away, I think. Let's go around the front side here. Here you got the old fent with a silver grill. Okay. Here you have kind of the blue one. This is the black grill. Um, red one with white rims. Um, eh, what color? No, wait. Red one. Yeah, black one with red rims. Silver grill. White on white with silver grill. Now, I, I, I've, I hopped this. I this Yogi 299. I can't find anything in the in the description. There's nothing um, online. I don't know what that means. Maybe somebody will. I thought it was the modder, but it's not listed as the modder. This is a Ron modding um, backslash model by TechMod. So I can't find anything on that. Um, I'll go through these tires here in a second. Um, here you see this is the uh, rear twin wheel option. Um, I think I have a wheel weight one, I thought. Well, I had to have had a wheel weight one. Twins. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's buy one. I know I had a wheel weight one. Let's just do that. We'll set up wheel weights. Um, buy. Oh, maybe I didn't. Wheel weights. Kind of what you would expect. Um, right there. The wheel weights. Okay. So that's kind of the outside. The outside's cool. Um, I don't know about the color choices. You know, um, they're not. <laughs> you know, they're not made. But but it adds some. You know, you can design it your own. I, I guess in that sense, it's it's pretty cool. Um, I wide tires. I don't really. Well, here's the standard tires. I guess these are wide tires. So they are just. Uh, you know, you can see a little bit of a difference. There's wide tires there as well. Um, yeah. Okay, let's take a look at the inside of the tractor and I'll show you what kind of makes this stand out. So we are inside the tractor. Um, now, before we start it up and get going, if you hit L1 and R1 and on the left mushroom, you go up and down. Oh, I'm sorry. L1, R1 and the right mushroom, you can raise and lower the hood. So there you go. You got that. That's pretty cool. Now, I'm going to turn around here. If you do L1, R1 and go side to side on the uh, right mushroom, you can open and close the window. Okay? So that's pretty cool. Now, if you hit, I think it's L, L1 and R1 and X, you're going to swing around and do the... Um, Oh, New Holland has a name for it. Why can't I think of the of the name? Oh, it'll come to me. But the um, why can't I think of the name of what they call that? Um, it'll come to me. Now you probably know what I'm talking about. There's a name. But anyways, you can go from front wheel to rear steel. Um, yeah. So that's L1, R1, and X. You can. Do that. So that is pretty cool. Now, um, another thing I'll show you is pay attention to the steering wheel right now. Um, you see the console is in the up position. As soon as you jump in, the console comes down towards you. That's pretty cool, which makes perfect sense because some tractors, you see the steering wheel standing straight up in the air. Um, so that's pretty cool. You get out, it's up, hop on in, and it comes down. Now, when you turn it on, you can see the lights on the dash light up, um, and if you were to go, you can see your RPM gauge 
will go as well. When you hit the light switch, everything in here will bright up. So there's the first stage of lights. All your indicator lights come on, the monitor lights up, um, the dash lights up. That is pretty cool. And you can see on the console there, the three stages in the upper right hand corner above the uh, tack, the fuel gauge there. There's the first lights, second lights, third lights. So that lights up. Indicator lights do work on the dash as well. That's pretty cool. Um, coming outside, you can see all kinds of work lights. Really, really cool. Um, I like that a lot. Of course, I didn't show the beacons. You got more lights there. Nice L, all LED lights there. Straight, <laughs> I just love that thing. I just love that thing. We'll go outside. So there you go. You got you got beacons, um, indicators. That's pretty cool. So no lights. There's your first stage, kind of just your. Um, let's put the let's put the hood down. Wait, no, the hood. Hood you can go down with just L1, L1, and right mushroom up and down. L1. Yeah, you don't need both of them in. L1, side to side on that mushroom opens the window. Okay, second stage lights. There's the back lights. Third stage would be all the front front lights. That is pr that is pretty cool. I uh, I like that a lot. Um, this tractor would be pretty cool to um, do in the nighttime. Um, good detail in the cab. It looks clean. It looks crisp. Um, well, you know, just a few little minor things, but, um, yeah, pretty darn cool in here. Um, there's no doors, though. Uh, I, you've, I, I've done every combination of buttons. Um, the door doesn't open, um, but you know what? That's okay. Um, that's pretty cool. I don't think I missed anything there. No. So that's that. That's kind of the inside-outside look of it. I'll turn that off here. I just love that string wheel coming down. I think that's so cool. Um, now, the one other thing I want to talk about, I, well, I did talk about the the Yogi 299. I cannot, for the life of me, find anything what that represents. That is this option. Uh, when you go down to design, Blunk Yogi 299 for 160 bucks. Um, that's what you get. You get the sticker on the window there. Um, the otherwise you don't now there is an option and I'll pull it out here I'll just pick one here we'll take the take the red one here there is an option and I, I would believe that in game it's not going to have any purpose on the functionality of the tractor but when you go in here there is an option for the um, Trailborg Vario grip tire Okay, what that is, is it's the Vario Grip. Now, the Vario Grip is um, pretty darn cool. Um, basically, what it is, is um, higher traction, better traction transfers power to the ground, high efficiency and less soil compaction. Um, it's a Fenton Vario Drive. Perfect grip means power is always there where you need it. With the new Fent Vario Drive, this is achieved through intelligent torque distribution between the front and rear axles. Fent torque distribution, for example, if the front wheels slip, the intelligently controlled four-wheel clutch automatically closes. Torque is then automatically shifted to the rear axle, which has grip, and vice versa. So that's pretty cool. Um, the tire pressure, the ballasting and working speed are also decisive for power transfer to the ground. This Fent grip assist, which you see on the tires here, uh, fully integrated in the Vario terminal. The right tire pressure and optimal ballast weight or driving speed can be determined quickly depending on the implement or given ballasting situation of the tractor. The grip assistant recommends either front and wheel weights or the optimal working speed. So that's pretty cool. There is a... This thing is kind of loud. There is a... Um, separate panel for that and that is added on here kind of to the display if you go on to Fent you can see um, that there would be a screen that it's linked to so you can change all that in the cabin be the it'd be the right half of that monitor there so that is pretty cool 
that is the um, the tire grip. Like I said, I, I would <laughs> you can't put that functionality in, built into the game. Um, yeah, so to speak. One other thing I'll show you. I just that steering wheel is just awesome. Um, if you had the hood up and the engine running, you can see the fan running here. That is uh, pretty darn cool. I like that. Yep. So that fan runs there as well. Um, license plate up there on the exhaust. I hope that's a pretty good heat shield. Otherwise, that thing would uh, be melted in a hurry. Um, you know, cool detail on the outside. Um, you got the speed up on the tractor. That must be a European thing. Yeah, you know, in the U.S., we don't have any... Um, in the U.S., you don't have to license a tractor, so you wouldn't have any any license plates or any kind of registration stickers, and you wouldn't have that speed thing. So that must be a, um, a European thing. I think it is. I think somebody told me that in, uh, like in the U.K., for example, you have to register a tractor. Um, in the U.S., you do not have to. But, um, yeah, that is pretty much all. I think I covered everything on this tractor. Um, like I said, high slots. It's spendy. If you were to buy the um, 1050, and let's say you wanted the, uh, I don't know, the, the Vario grip for some reason, you wanted uh, the silver grill, which is another 280, and you wanted the Yogi 299 sticker, you're looking at 344,000. But you are getting a 517 horsepower tractor, so you can't go wrong with that. I am kind of surprised they don't have the twin wheel options all the way around. They have the uh, rear wheel option, but um, yeah. So that is, um, I think, pretty much all I can tell you about this new um, 1050. It did not show up on the Mod Hub, so when I went into the game today, um, it was there, but it didn't show up on the Mod Hub. That's happening sometimes lately, because even Sussex Farm you can't see on the Mod Hub. Um, where I am right now um, Yeah, so that's about pretty much it of the uh, Fent 1050 Vario pretty neat. I Just love that Biodirectional that's what I was thinking of biodirectional um, Yeah, L1 R1 and X Would switch you around biodirectional New Holland calls. There's a biodirectional tractor so if you are in this position and you go forward on the on the uh, joystick so you're gonna hit um, you know the the right trigger where that's forward okay and the other one would be backwards if you switched around of course and hit forward you're gonna go forward so I like how that set up um, that it's not backwards so if you wanted to go forward here which the way you're facing um, you can still hit the forward and it works there pretty cool yeah, so biodirectional, that's what I was thinking of. But, <laughs> pretty neat tractor. You can, uh, yeah, let's see. I can open the window there. Oh, look at that. You can be cruising down the road here and get a little breeze. Oh, yes, that's nice. That is nice. Yep. I think I might have to have one of these. Whoa, holy buckets. Whoa, holy buckets. Uh-oh, we rolled it. Okay, we're okay. We'll go backwards. There, yeah. I think I gotta have one of these things. Um, that is a beast of a tractor. But <laughs> there you go. I did a roll that roll the brand new $350,000 tractor. But um, even the guy spins around there. Oh, no, the guy disappeared. That's too bad. Council seat moves around. Look at that. Even the buddy seat um, folds up and down. Look at that. Eh, that's pretty cool. Okay. There you have it. That is the Fent 1050 Vario tractor. I'm serious that time. This time. This is it. Okay. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. Maybe even a little entertaining. Um, if you did, hey, give us a like. We would appreciate that. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, do that as well. We would greatly appreciate that too. But from Sussex Farm, Farmer Min telling you, have yourself a great day and keep between the ditches. So long. And yeah, just drive with my hood up. Yeah, that's all I do. Around my hood up.